Okay, I can finally make this video because Rudy in one of his videos titled State of the Reserve List where he bought some Timmy's collection actually tells you, he finally tells you what he buys cards at which is accurate now with some details. I'm very excited about this video because finally I can make it without really, you know, showing emails and so on which would then put that person Maybe they may not like that. And obviously, you know, that shouldn't be shared to begin with. But that was the only way I could have made this video unless he actually admitted to these numbers, which are lower than I what I know, but even with these numbers. So he says that for old vintage reserve list cards, high-end cards, lotuses, reserve, you know, re really valuable cards that he wants. Now, the key is most if you go to rudy and you want to sell your modern collection or a collection of standard cards he won't give you anything for them those are not the cards he's talking about buying he's only buying old school reserve list dual lands or up so keep that in mind he says that he's going to offer 60 to 65 percent of ebay sold for near mint and mint and 45 to 50 percent heavy play eBay sold for near uh, for heavy play or light play or something like that. So the reason this is such a bad deal, and and you might be like, MTG line, what do you offer? I offer a shit ton higher, and now I can prove it. I can finally prove it. Probstein, uh, who they sell a lot of Magic cards, they sell a lot of graded, they sell very high end. If they sell a card over $2,500, then they would charge. So you don't pay eBay fees. You don't, they, give, they give you 90% net. So the idea that Rudy is offering for a good card, 60% is ludicrous. Because you could send that same card to Probstein, right? eBay complete auction, right? They would do advertising. They would pay for the PayPal, eBay, whatever the transactional fees are. I'm not advertising Probstein, and I don't even like Probstein. Probstein is the guy who sold the Alpha Starter to, I believe, Open Boosters. So they have, you know, but for graded cards, like I was talking to one of the people who emailed me, why would I think that they would mess with graded cards? Maybe a sealed product, I would be more worried. That's not correct. But for a graded card, it's a graded card. It's the same company that graded a card as that graded your card. I don't doubt that they're selling you know a bgs 8m so we're i'm looking to maybe acquire a bgs alpha emerald mox emerald and there's no comps there's no buy list on the emerald itself but there is a probe steen on the sapphire at fourteen thousand something and there is so that was completed bgs 8 and then there is a comp on a jet I think it's like 12,400 on a 7.9 jet. Now the question is, what is a eight, a BGS eight Emerald where it sits in between these two? Or is it closer to the jet or even less than the jet? I mean, that's debatable, right? So when I hear this, I'm like, my God, I would love to buy things at eBay comp completed at 60%. Do you know how ridiculous that would be? Do you know how cheap that is? eBay complete, 60% of eBay complete for near mint and 45% to 50% for heavy play, light play, something like that. Jesus Christ, my God. And I finally can tell you this because he's admitted himself. When you sell, let's say you sell a $10,000 on eBay, a uh, card on eBay and you just sell it yourself and it ends up at $10,000. Well, you know, you get to keep that money. Now you have to pay eBay, you have to pay PayPal. The other way is you could get somebody like Probstein. There exist a lot of these people, PWCCE, Go, uh, Golden. You could give them to a professional auctioneer. They would advertise your card. They're, it's in their best interest to get the most they can from the card. That should be obvious. And then they would take at most for a high-end card 10%. That's what Probstein takes. In case you don't know that number, it's 10%. That includes all eBay fees paid from Probstein. So you get 90%. If it ends at $10,000, Probstein keeps $1,000. They send you $9,000. 
and out of Probstein's $1,000, they pay eBay fees, they pay uh, PayPal fees if there's any, they pay, they do the transaction, and they guarantee the, you know, the authenticity of the card. So that's 90% worst case scenario eBay price. The fact that he's using eBay complete and he's only paying 60 to 65% on near mint is ludicrously low. I guarantee you, I will pay for the cards that he's buying, the reserve list, the Lotuses, the dual lands. The buy list is not 60% or 65% for a near mint copy of eBay complete. You can go to Card Kingdom right now and check it. The buy list is very competitive to eBay. So this idea that buy list is only half of eBay complete is ludicrous in these cards. It's just mind blowing because like, Dude, like, I mean, if you got a collection, if you got a card, a single card, let's call it a Lotus for $20,000 and you could sell it on eBay and then you would pay fees and let's say it goes for $20,000. Okay, you get to keep, you could give it to Probstein and say, you know what, I don't know how to sell on eBay. I don't have that experience. Probstein, can you advertise it for me? Probstein be like, oh, okay, cool. We'll take 10% on this high-end card and we'll do the marketing, we'll do the research, we'll do everything that we need to do because we eBay auction all the time. We're the experts in this field and we have like a wide network which we can distribute the card to. Okay, that's 10%. Rudy mother effing will pay you 60% on that card, man. I mean, it, it's just ludicrous. Like that card sold for $20,000 and eBay complete. Man, I, I mean, that adds. And he's talking about, oh, it takes so long. No, man, you just put in an auction. What, what, you, you can put an auction for a day. I don't understand. Does, does he not know how auctions work? Like he sells on eBay all the time. Does he not know how an auction has an end date that you said? Why would it take nine to six months and so on to sell the cards? I don't get it. In Card Kingdom, the buy list is very competitive. Like these buy lists out there, people think that, oh, they're so low. I mean, the idea that he's saying that the eBay complete, 60% of eBay complete is buy list is ludicrous. It's 60 to 65% of retail at Card Kingdom. I'll take um, a mock Sapphire. A near mint sapphire goes for about thirty thousand, I believe, on Card Kingdom retail uh, for Alpha. Um, one sold on eBay for fourteen thousand, a little bit more on from Probstein, by the way. Yes, you know that the buy list on a lot of websites, especially if you pick the best website for you, the the seller. You don't need to sell to the guy with the lowest buy list. That, that doesn't make any sense. Like it's, it's crazy that Rudy pumps the numbers when he's hyping the product and Modern Master and all, oh, and he takes the highest price point that possible. And then when it comes to buy your cards, he's like, oh, 60% of eBay complete. Man, I don't know any efforts offering 60. I, I don't know anyone, man. You know, Sasha T's and so on. I mean, these are 70% eBay coming. I mean, it's Sasha T. The biggest flipper in the industry, and then he doesn't even do this, man. Maybe for bulk cards, but that's not what he's buying. He's buying the top end of the top end in one collection. I mean, there are dual lands, Yagamir as well, reserve lists, there were legends cards, there were just, just valuable cards, right? Um, Library, Al Alexandra from Arabian Nights. I mean, these are not cards that should be going for 60 to 65 percent near mint. Oh. And then the whole light play and stuff is even worse. Like light play, heavy play, he's giving less than 50% or less from eBay complete. Those are not bulk cards. Those are vintage. Man, I messed up, man. I mean, I, maybe I'm offering too much, right? Maybe I'm getting like, but I, at the same time, this I'm finally glad that he's admitted what he offers. I've seen emails where it's much, much lower. For the Mox Emerald, Alpha Mox Emerald right now, I gave an offer and I said, this is a terrible offer. I would just send it to Probstein of $9,000. That's the lowest offer. And of course that offer would go up and up and up on the Mox Emerald Alpha. We looked at a Mox Emerald uh, BGS 8, 8.5 Sapphire sitting at 14,000 plus. Uh, we looked at, there was no buy list on Card Kingdom for the Mox Alpha Emerald. Uh, we looked at a Mox M 
Mox Alpha uh, Jet at 12,000, so on, right? So even if you assume the Emerald does the same as a Jet, 12,400, um, Rudy's offer, because again, you know, let's say, let's even assume the Jet is near mint, which again, th there's questions, right, about that. Uh, there was a question about a person previously who did not believe it was near mint who gave him a, another offer that was actually higher in april there's a lot of moving parts here but i would 60 percent on twelve thousand is uh eight sixty percent six times twelve seventy two thousand yeah seventy two thousand 65% on 12,000 is 72,000, 7,200, 7,800. I would snap by that. I would buy any card at that price, right? Because I'm offering 70, 75, I don't even think 80, like on the moxes and so on, I'm offering a lot more. I'm offering probe steam. You can go, because I know what's out there. I know you can take your cards instead of selling them to Rudy for pennies, pennies on the dollar, you know, half a cent on, you know, half a dollar on the dollar, right? Because a lot of the stuff are, is not going to be near mint and mint. Like how many vintage cards are near mint and mint? Like that's a, so on the, the uh, Jets, the Moxes I was buying, he, instead of offering 20, I no, I would put 2,100, 1,300 on the heavy plate, Ruby. According to Rudy, he probably offered two bucks and maybe a floppy taco. Like this isn't a good deal. Like eBay complete is what the card sold for on eBay. It's not the retail price from Card Kingdom. 60 to 65% of, you know, for high end cards is even low on retail for Card Kingdom sometimes. So he's kind of making, if you don't sell cards, you don't understand the discrepancy I'm trying to tell you about. The eBay price that sold for a recent auction is the market price. The market price is not the same as the retail price. The buy list is based on the retail price, not the market price. And many times for these older cards, the buy list is actually higher than what the market price is. Because that person, Card Kingdom, has already a buyer lined up who will pay this amount of money and Card Kingdom's you know, authenticity and ability to sell it at the Mox Boarding House, or they have a customer base who relies on them to procure these items. 60 to 65% guys on their mint, mint, given the fact that most vintage cards are not that type of card, means that he's actually paying less than 50% on most vintage collections on eBay complete. Let me rephrase, eBay complete. Instead of selling it to eBay for $10,000, you're going to give it to him for $4,500. Instead of giving it to Probstein and Probstein doing all the work and heavy lifting and Probstein giving you back $9,000, even that's bad. Even people hate Probstein. People hate Probstein. But even this, this entity, who many people dislike, is going to give you back $9,000 when Rudy gives you 4,500 of the dollars for the typical vintage collection. And you might be like, MTG line, where I actually give like 80% most of the time, 75%, at least seven, I mean, I will say this, based on eBay complete, for any Weiss Pokemon, you know, you know when I'm dealing with mother effing Weissers, right? Like these Weiss sports people, they want like 120% eBay complete. Like this is ludicrous to me, right? 60, 65% of eBay complete. I'm just crying my eyes out right now for near mint, near mint. I never get near mint. Oh my God, for near mint, for truly near mint. PSA 9, PSA 10, I would give, oh, I would give very similar to, I would give 90% eBay complete for really actual near mint. I'm not talking about scratches or not talking about near mint, near mint. PSA 9, PSA maybe eight, PSA 10. I would give 90, 85 to 90 percent of eBay complete compared to Rudy's 60 to 65 percent. I would give 20 percent more than Rudy. Straight up. If your card's near mint, it's vintage, it's a Lotus or something, I would give you, I mean, because at, at the end of the day, like 
that's where you can go. You can get that amount of money, even after eBay fees, PayPal, even if you didn't really know what you were doing, you can hire someone to help you. For 10%, that, that's the most that you would pay. And then most collections are not near mint, especially of the vintage variety, right? So imagine a $10,000 Lotus that is you know, heavy play. You sell the Lotus on eBay for 10,000. Rudy gives you 4,500. Mother effort, right? I would give you, if that, if that Lotus, heavy play Lotus sold on eBay for $10,000, right? eBay complete. I would give you 88,000. I give you 80%. And I'm negotiable. So I mean, this is wild. I mean, it is wild how very, very little that he's paying for these people. These people that trust and like him are getting just railed. My, they're getting railed so hard that I don't even, eBay complete is the price they would have gotten from eBay. Like, does he not understand this? And the idea it would take six to eight months. No, like people are selling eBay. eBay complete is probably a dude who wanted to get rid of a card and he put it for a week or maybe a day. Like it's a dude no different from you trying to get rid of your card. Just because you have like, a, let's say a light play Black Lotus doesn't mean you need to sell Rudy for half off or less. Man, that card easily buy list will pay you more. Easily, you know, eBay or somebody on eBay will pay you more. I will pay you more. I finally can tell you the numbers because these are his numbers. I mean, imagine this. These are the best numbers he wants to give you. So now imagine the flip side. What are the worst numbers when your condition isn't good, when things are not, your, your collection isn't all just high-end vintage? Imagine a collection where it's just a bunch of legends bulk. What do you think he offers in that? If he's offering this on a Lotus and so on. It's crazy, right? Crazy. 